So I got, I got to tell you a funny story from when I met Dave. Uh, I went to Ireland uh, to teach some seminars in 2012 and 2013. And in uh, 2012, my first time meeting Dave was actually my last night in Ireland. I was in Dublin and I had to catch a flight the next day. So he shows up at my hotel room door. He uh, whisks me away to uh, the, what, is it the oldest pub in Ireland or in Dublin? It's, uh, it, no, it's called the Grave Diggers. It's beside um, the old cemetery where the likes of Danny O'Connell and all of these Irish heroes are buried. Yeah. So uh, yeah. phenomenal, phenomenal pub. Best place for having points again, let's put it that way. And uh, what do they call a Grave Diggers pub? Can you tell that story quickly? Yeah, it, they used to, um, well, because the pub is right beside the actual cemetery, the old cemetery gates, and um, during the times of the funerals, they'd be waiting for one funeral to finish and the world and other ones going on and people would go into this pub and they'd basically swamp the points of Guinness while they were waiting for another funeral to, to end. The guys who were actually digging the graves used to bang on the side of the wall one tap would be for one point of Guinness and a couple of more taps would be for a couple of more points and, and they used to drink uh, Guinness there. But there's a story that it actually they actually changed Irish law because of this. Um, instead of having all the funerals come in in the morning, they had to split the funerals. One in the morning, I think it was the countryside in the morning and then the Dublin people in the afternoon or vice versa. Because what was happening is everybody was staying in the pub getting drunk and there was lines of coffee, coffins up outside the pub doors. <laughs> So we went into Irish Parliament and they changed the law. That's kind of that's kind of how we are. And then the, there's another story. I'll just give you a quick one. There's a term in Dublin and it's called a going to get a jar. I'm going for a jar. And that came from the Great Divers pub itself. During World War II, um, where Ireland stayed neutral, but we were still a very, very, very poor country. And glass was very hard to find. So we drink uh, Guinness and other liquids of happiness our jam jars. So you'd go down to go down the pub for a jar. So there you go. And uh, we had a few jars ourselves. If you were to hazard a guess, how many jars of Guinness did we partake of in that evening? We had oh, we had one large one that you could have put <laughs> about ten in, maybe. Yeah, we had a good we had a good feed of Guinness. Sure, look. Yes, the, and so they, Dave. Uh, we uh, we take a ride back to the uh, back to the hotel. I basically had everything laid out on the bed, ready to get packed and everything for my flight out the next day. But uh, I didn't make it to the packing and uh, I passed out and woke up in the morning. And if it wasn't for my pure luck that the uh, airport shuttle was at the hotel at that exact moment, uh, I would yeah. have completely missed my uh, missed my flight back home. So a uh, memorable time. And then uh, <laughs> then got to stay with you the next year. So anyways, it's good to have you on, man. I appreciate that. Uh,